Hello and welcome back. I am Margaret Esfahani and I'm here with Sister Shireen from the Brahma Kumaris. Welcome Shireen. Hi Margaret. Well today we are continuing our exercises for soul fitness. Um, in our last um, episode we did um, the eyes and so now the biggest thing of all for me anyway is really having peace of mind and we all we all want peace of mind, Shireen. Yes. So yes. why do we want peace of mind? Why is it so important to us? Um, <laughs> because the mind is peaceless. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it's chaotic in there, right? Right, and right. And we need help right. sort of right. calming down. Right, right. It's, it's, good. it's good to want peace of mind, but we have to recognize what the mind is. And when we talk about the mind in, within um, soul fitness, the mind is where, and I mentioned this before in our previous uh, chapters, uh, previous uh, exercises, that the mind is where the thoughts arise. Okay. So the mind is like a computer screen okay. of the soul. So the mind is the messenger of the soul. Okay. It's not, um, it doesn't itself generate thoughts the soul generates thoughts. Okay. So the mind is just telling us what's inside. How does the brain fit into that? Um, the brain is physical. Okay. The brain is part of the physical body. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a good question because the mind and the brain interface. Yes. The soul, you could say the mind is the first point of contact with the soul, with the body. Okay. So the mind and the, uh, and the brain connect. So it's sort of the interface. Interface. And Inter so you could say the mind is the closest point of contact. To the soul. To the body. To the body. So the mind is in the soul, the brain is in the body, and they are together. Very good. Okay. So that is a nice combination. So right. And so what happens is the brain, um, I don't want to deny the role of the brain in our thinking, in our physiology, but a lot of the soul generates thoughts. And the way we can tell the soul generates thoughts is that when you have a dead body, yes, just five minutes before the soul is thinking, the body, the same brain, the same thing, the soul is gone. There's no activity in the brain. Right. So the soul is the generator of thoughts. Okay, that makes sense. And we, sense. we need help. Like, you know, the brain is like the engine of the car. Without a good engine, the car is not going anywhere. Correct. So we need the brain. Correct. But um, the mind is the one that um, is the messenger of the soul. It's telling us, okay, this is what's going on inside the soul. This is what your peace lists, and this is what's happening. And so, yes, everyone wants peace of mind, but we first need to find out what caused the mind anxiety and stress and, um, you know, for it to be peace, not peace. <laughs> right, or just be just sort of all over the place yes, and, yes. and all of that. So that really makes a lot of sense. It makes sense that, um, that the mind is part of the soul um, and, and it's not tangible. I mean, right. Like the brain right. is a tangible right. physical, physical entity. entity. Right. You know, right. it's a tangible thing. But um, the mind and our thoughts and our souls, those are not tangible. Those right. are not things that can cease to exist. Right. So those thoughts we carry with us mm -hmm. um, in our mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so we have to figure out um, that the mind is the messenger and we have to be very gentle with the messenger. Yes, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. And don't force the messenger. You can't force the mind. The mind is always thinking. That's one thing you have to accept, is the mind is just giving you a message and the soul is always thinking. Okay. The soul is always thinking. So the mind is just telling you the soul is thinking this. And so, but what we have to do is we have to recognize that to be able to calm the mind, mm -hmm. we need to do two things. Okay. We need to eliminate negative thoughts from the mind okay. and from the soul that we need to stop thinking negative thoughts and which can be done by just filling it, giving it a diet of pure, healthy, positive, powerful thoughts. Okay. Well, then let's try it. Okay. Are you excited to help us uh, yes, get some yes, peace of mind? Because yes. I'm excited to get some peace of mind. Yes. Peace of mind is very simple. Um, 
So w let's go through. I'll, um, let's go through it, and then yes. we can talk about the steps later. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. So take a deep breath. I would like you to meditate with your eyes open on this one. Take a deep breath and watch your breath move in and out of the body. In, out. In, out. Just watch it. And now, remember that the mind is part of you, the soul. It's one of your helpers. It's your messenger. And it's giving you a message. You watch the mind and you see what's going on with it just for a few moments. And now slowly direct the mind by feeding it a diet of pure thoughts. I am a soul, I am peace. Peace is intrinsic to I, the soul. No one can take it away from me. No one can give it to me. It's part of me. It's within me. And now, I give myself a lot of good wishes and pure feelings. I'm a pure soul. I am love and I'm lovable. just shower myself with these feelings. This time, this role, this situation, the drama of the world, the events in the world, all of that is a speck of eternity. It's just a speck. And I see it for what it is. I align myself with that which is eternal within me and that is I am a peaceful soul. And now, I give good wishes to all the people in my life. Just pure good wishes. And that calms the mind too. Not thinking negative of, of anyone not feeling negative towards anyone. Just being in your own truth, in your own peace. I repeat like a mantra. I am peace. I am peace. I am peace. Oh,
शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति एंड विद दिस फीलिंग ऑफ पीस I come back to this room. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you, Shireen. Um gosh, it's very peaceful in here. I can feel the peace in our audience. I can feel the peace right here in um our center. and um right here in this very studio. Um so I really feel calm. Um thank you Shireen. Um I was able to eliminate um for a brief moment or five if you will, five five, you know, a few minutes um some of the chatter if you will. Um and I like the fact um that you use the word shower yourself with good thoughts and positive thoughts um because it just is a calming force um when we you know we shower ourselves to clean our body you know i think that's a, an actually a great word for us to remember right um is to to shower ourselves with good thoughts because that helps clean our mind and helps give us peace of mind so um Goodness gracious. So thank you. So there was a few steps that you said you were going to share with us. Yes. In regards to yes. helping us. So this peace of mind exercise can be um done anywhere. You don't even need the meditation. If you have the meditation with you and you want to repeat it and listen to it again and again, that's good. Mm-hmm. But this is how I break down the meditation. Is okay. first watch the breath. And so the reason why I say to watch the breath mm-hmm. is like that signaling the body to calm down. Don't distract me. <laughs> right. Don't distract the soul from me the soul from other things. Right. So calm so, down. So mm-hmm. sometimes we do need a physical sort of reminder. Right. And that breathing can be that little right. trigger right. if you will. Right. Yes, that it just calm down, just calm down. And I pretty much start all my meditations with that. You know, just watch it and just go in and out and just watch it and keep watching yourself and then once you're calm down then you start excellent and the second one is that to remind myself that the mind is my helper it's here it's my messenger it's telling me something don't force it don't be upset with it just observe it just observe it and then you will see the message the mind is giving you I I really like that because so many times we hear, you know, in in a variety of different um spiritualities and religions and 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 theologies if you will. You know, let it come to you. And I think this is in line with exactly all of those other theologies that are saying when you pray or when you focus on your mind, it will come to you yes so just to observe and see what it's telling you and just say okay this is what you're telling me and now let me use you you're going to be my helper let me use you to direct myself in a different direction very good because that really makes us feel in control of our mind it makes us feel like we have the choice to make to have a peaceful mind right right and another important step in peace of mind is to see that whatever situation i that is causing me stress anxiety is a speck of eternity it's yes. just a speck yes you know it's so look at the larger picture don't get too involved and i think that sometimes we don't have peace of mind because we do have too many of those little specks around so i really like a few words that you use shower ourselves with great words with great ideas um remember that that is little specks um in that um the mind is um the window of the soul right um, right to the brain right and it's the first and it's ours. Yes. It's ours and we and it's there to help. Yes. Don't force it. 
You know, I always feel like we have to be like a baby to the mind. We have to treat it like a baby. Mm -hmm. Well, very good, Shireen. I think that that will help us tremendously. I know for those of you that just experienced um, our exercise, it's very calming. So, Shireen, thank you very much. Thanks, Margaret. You're welcome. Stay tuned.